on FD. Um, I feel like this kind of a matchup, especially with like the limited stud up that Violet has, right off the bat, she's just gonna maybe like struggle to get in on Samus. Um, not like a whole lot of mobility to be had there, but nicely spacing an app smash already in neutral. Uh, deal like 15%. Right now, Chozo is trying to, oh, El Tilde, El Tilde Minicano is trying to call out like a jump with an up out, but able to convert the medium charge shot into a dash attack, getting really, really good damage. Right now he uses, so that's something you see a lot of really good Samus mains do, like they use the floatiness off stage to like just give themselves a little bit time to set up um, charge shot, because honestly, Violet can't set up that much of an edge guard, not much of a ledge trap, so why not just take the time to go and, uh, you know, get some of your projectiles nice and ready. Nice falling back in um, to get Violet off stage and a good catch on the extended tether swing with, uh, I believe that was a neutral later. Nice down through into Florida, maybe trying to catch the drift out, though not able to find it. Now this time, actually catching the DI out with a down through neutral air. So that's usually going to be the mix-up at low percent. Uh, you can usually connect down through a fail, but at a uh, higher percent if you're afraid of the DI out, down through a neutral air, um, you know, does the job just as well. Nice use of the down bees as well, just to stall and throw off uh, the timing just a little bit. Breeze trying to end the stock. Well, I don't know, set up something with an up B. Not able to find it. Right now, Chozo rolling right into the F smash. Once again, trying to get that same kind of kill, but Breeze actually managing to mix up that habit of his really, really well. I like that uh, he was running towards his shield um, because like he was waiting for maybe like a panic option. Oh wow, able to recover from that distance, but not snapping to ledge. Um, I think that might have been a good grab if he tried to do it. Regardless, Chozo was ready with an up tilt. And again, he's doing a great job of calling out these recoveries from Breeze and setting up the bombs along the way just in case he still had a jump. That was such a good extension. He was a stock up, he could afford to make the trade. Um, so overall, I feel like that was a very, very confident game one. Um, Breeze needs to be playing the offstage a lot more carefully for sure. And I don't know, I feel like he just wasn't getting a whole lot of hits. And, like aside from like those stray, you know, F smashes that got like the kill once, like he got pretty confidently two stocked. So I just want to see maybe a little bit more patient play and like knowing when to actually jump in on, um, you know, Theo Dominicano Samus. Because if you keep getting a little bit too antsy, if, uh, you know, you're always trying to zone break him, you know, he's just gonna catch on to your aggression and, and constantly whip punish you for it. So for game two, they're gonna be opting for Kalos. Um, the flat sides definitely help, I wanna say, with Violet's uh, tether up B recovery, but aside from that, we're not going to see that different of a dynamic between this and game one. Trying to space his zeros to maybe call out um, any dash into aggression from Breeze, but definitely Breeze is playing this a lot more patiently, getting good up tilt, but uh, Alteo Gatorling with his own up air strings, getting so much off of those, had the right idea with the pivot grab, but just slightly uh, didn't position himself correctly to be able to connect it. I feel like Chozo is initiating these um, zeros maybe a little bit like too early, or he just needs to stop fast falling while doing them if he wants them to connect. Uh, unable to actually get the punish on that, a little bit too slow. Nice spacing of his F tilt though, keeping him nice and safe. Now he has no jump, and uh, Breeze is unable to capitalize on that. Gonna get hit with a medium charge shot once again, calling out the jump with a floater. Off stage, this is so dangerous, and finally taking that stock with a neutral air. Like, Breeze has to find a way to get back to stage a little bit safer. Chose, uh, uh Teo Dominicano is doing a great job of just like calling this out every single time. That's a down throw into Florida, but because Breeze landed on the platform and uh, Theo had too much drift, he uh, unfortunately fell out of it. 
trying to get the tech chase with the F-Smash. Able to find it, but because that was not a tip, uh, it won't kill quite yet. Keeping uh, El Tio at edge there. Um, I don't think he has a good idea. Right? Like, he's trying to lead, call out a jump. Um, without properly conditioning it, like with those side Bs. Then as a result, like he only commits and then he gives up stage control for it. But finally, that spaced aerial is going to be the thing to take out the stock. Nice call out on the jump out of shield. Really, really good conditioning on uh, El Tio's part. Dashing back, waiting for Breeze to press a button first, connecting all of these nail strings into... An I'm not sure about the... <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, you should you should lose a stock for that. That just like mostly call, calls out people pressing buttons or when they don't really know the matchup. Sometimes people jump into it though because the swing hit of it um, is just as potent as the landing one. Yeah, whipping a whole lot of smash attacks, really a lot of like laggy specials, and then as a result, Chozo is just getting a whole lot of mileage from it. Nice spot dodge punish, but the jab, I think that was the jab, uh, didn't connect to itself as Samus is notorious for it. Nice landing aerial. Good back throw off the stage just to get a little bit of stage control. Breeze is able to get back on time, but because he preemptively pressed the button again, he's just going to be getting hit with all of these projectiles. Uh, falling out of the up air, um, he was facing the other direction and drifted out too much. And that is a nice up throw to take the stock, game, and set. So I want to say a very, very convincing 2-0 from, um, from El Tio Dominicano. Breeze might just want to be, you know, a little bit more careful about which buttons he's pressing and when. He got whiff punished a lot. Um, you know, Byleth's moves are especially laggy, I feel like. So you got to really just, like, focus on spacing um, your opponents more with your tilts and your aerials and just finding ways to convert off of uh, falling neutral air 